Uh, hello, this is just an update on my case uh, the Metropolitan Police have brought against me after I was arrested in Trafalgar Square on the 4th of November holding a satirical placard uh, pro-Palestinian demo. Uh, I got a call yesterday from the Metropolitan Police offering me a caution under Section 5 of the Public Order Act. Uh, I don't know why they called me as opposed to going through my lawyer because they have all my uh, lawyer's contact details but they felt compelled to call me at home uh, yesterday morning. They also said that if I didn't accept it I will be charged and go to court which is obviously a very scary thing. Obviously I'm not going to accept it and I didn't accept it because accepting it is conceding my guilt and I've done nothing wrong and it also means that I carry a criminal record uh, which has all sorts of implications obviously for the rest of my life. The fact is I am one of many pro-Palestinian demonstrators who are being targeted by the British authorities right now solely for exercising our rights to freedom of expression and assembly. My rights to speak up and to protest against a genocide in plain sight by Israel, the complicity of our government and the US and the EU. So I refuse to accept the caution because I've done nothing wrong. And weirdly, this morning, I've been told this time through my lawyer that I'm not receiving a caution after all. And the case is being referred to the Crown Prosecution Service for further analysis. So again, there seems to be a sort of chaos right now around the managing of these cases in their efforts to repress and oppress our peaceful dissent. Like seriously, we have issues right now in the country of child hunger, pandemic homelessness, the NHS is on its knees, multiple crises, and this is where they are choosing to funnel public funds and taxpayers' money. And that's also by this, the very same people who we must remember last week voted against calling for a ceasefire in Gaza where a genocide is taking place, further entrenching their complicity in Israeli war crimes against the Palestinians. Like, really, who are the criminals here? The fact is as well that while we continue to protest, thousands more Palestinians are dying. They're being massacred still, bombed, forcibly displaced. They're being starved, deprived of food, water, sanitation. It's like they're coming up with whole new categories of war crimes when premature babies are not given the oxygen that they need to survive and are dying. Relentless, horrific, barbaric scenes that are coming out of Gaza are breaking our hearts and enraging us all. I met a British poet the other day, Hussein Manawir, and he says, I have an anchor inside my heart and it has dropped into the depth of the soil, into the ground of Gaza. That anchor is deeply embedded in all our hearts now and we're not going to stop coming to the streets and we're not going to stop protesting and we're not going to stop calling for a free Palestine. The tide has turned. Seriously, apartheid Israel. What a country.